The idea for the book came from um, the, the stories and tales that revolved around the women in my family. Um, when I was a child, I was a very shy kid, and instead of playing outside with my neighbor's kids, I would sit in my mother's living room and listen to her talk to her friends and other family members. Um, and they were always telling stories. They were always um, telling funny stories, sad stories, horrific stories. And uh, because I was so quiet, I guess they, they forgot that I was there a lot of the times. And so they were, they were sometimes, you know, they never censored what they had to say. And uh, my book was sort of my attempt to sort them into order and by extension, my childhood into some kind of order. The book's mystical settings and fantastical elements, uh, they sort of came about by accident. When I first started writing the book, uh, it didn't have any of those elements. Um, and I set out to write just a simple, straightforward chronicle of these two families. Uh, but then I think I got to the part where uh, Eva was uh, complaining for the first time. And uh, I thought that part was kind of dull. It's a little kind of bland and too grounded in reality. You know, a lot of people complain about a thousand things a day, like what makes that woman's complaining so special and so unique. Um, and so, um, but I didn't know how to fix it. I tinkered with it a few, for a few months. I didn't know how to fix it. Um, and then my dad uh, was visiting me from Indonesia. And he told me a story about a friend of his who was often kept up at night by bees. And um, I, I was confused, like, what do you mean kept up by bees? Like, you know, is he a beekeeper? Um, and my dad said, no, it's, it's, his, it's his wife who was keeping him up at nights because uh, she was constantly complaining about everything under the sun and uh, wouldn't let him sleep. And her complaining sounded exactly like bees. And that's when, that's when the idea hit me that that's what the book needed. Um, so I went back to the chapters that I'd already written and I looked for magical things that I could weave into those chapters and that's how the the whole fantastical element started. I hope readers after reading the book will be grateful for the families that they have especially after reading about Eva um, and I hope just for a few hours they'll be able to escape into a world um, away from their bills and their deadlines their their screaming kids and and um, you know they can lose themselves inside the Cave of Enchantment with Meridia or stroll down Independence Plaza um, and I hope you know it'll it'll take them away from their trouble just for for a few hours.